Hello everybody, it's Shady here again, and this is part 8 of uh, Final Fantasy 4. So anyway, we will continue on. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, we don't need to do more grinding. Uh, I'm happy with these levels at the moment. And we will just go here. Ooh, yes, we are back. Yeah, I guess he just uses ninja powers. Unicorn horn. I need to actually check what that does. Uh, yeah, sort it out. Uh, nope. Not custom. Where is it? Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, nice. That's quite a good item. Okay, so yeah. Um... As you can see, yeah, we're, we're at like a different part of this now, so basically a whole new dungeon. Okay, nice. Oh, I really, I love the music in this game, man. It is just amazing, isn't it? I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Because um, like I said, this, again, is a one-time early thing, so... Oh no! Monsters! Uh, so he can incapacitate enemies. You can do this, which lets you flee from battle. And then, yeah, this just does a fire attack on all enemies. Just a good old mist dragon. <clears throat> yeah, we can't go wrong with that, really. Oh my god, yeah, that <laughs> did nothing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny how they look when they get hit. I don't know why I did that. Oh, whatever. Lovely. Got whipped to death. Ooh. Is that a new weapon? Yep. Yeah, so we get a bit more tap power, but less accuracy. Yeah. I don't mind that. I think that might be the first axe we've got in this playthrough. So yeah, it's a momentous occasion, obviously, you know. Man, th this theme in particular is just amazing, isn't it? Oh my god. Like, Amatsu truly is a genius, isn't he? Thanks. No. Uh, should be a new one for our guy here. Um, hmm. Or she. Yeah, we'll just give him that. Yeah. Um, obviously, yeah, the, uh, the last game they worked on was. Um, what was it again? Um, Fantasian, uh, Omatsu and, and Sakaguchi, I mean, obviously. Um, yeah, they're kind of like the dream team, aren't they? Um, yeah, I really like how, uh, you know, they basically work together on every game. <laughs> um, there was one really cool bit of news that came out recently. Um, there was an interview with, uh, Omatsu, um, Sakaguchi and a couple of the other guys from Square, um, and basically, Amatsu basically said that um, him and Nomura have a gentleman's agreement that he has to do a track for uh, the third part of Final Fantasy VII Remake, whatever they're going to call that, <laughs> which is so cool. Oh no. Edge? Father! Mother! 
Thank heavens you're all right. You're alive. Come with us, Edge. Yes, come with us. Uh, where will we go? To hell. What? Oh, no. This don't seem right. Unless the Satanists. Maybe they want to go to hell. But yeah, unfortunately, the king and the queen have been turned into monsters. Just stick with that. And obviously, uh, adjust to help send his parents, you know, give him peace. Uh, yeah, I think we may be a bit over over leveled, actually. <laughs> Forget what I said in the last part. They've kind of regained consciousness there. Edge. We are no longer human. <laughs> so they're basically just saying, just put out of, us out of our misery. It's fine. Thank you. I like that we're still attacking them as they're doing this. I mean, it's sad and all, but he's still monsters. We will. Yeah, the, it's just automated, basically, so. This can't be good, man. Bit sad, isn't it? And we here we go. Yes, as I was saying. Yeah, Rubicon is uh, more of a noble warrior. He just wants a good fight. Yeah, Rubicon is badass, isn't he? But yeah, here we go. Finally. Yeah, he's even... Um... Wow! it's a lot of gil. Yeah. He's so cool, he even restores the HP because he wants a fair fight. That's how cool he is. Yeah, here we go. Rubicon, the final of the four fiends. Here we go. Oh my god, so much damage. Um, but yeah, we will stick with Blizzaga. And Flood. Uh, I was saying he was easy. <laughs> it just gets killed in one shot. Wow, she did max damage? Wow, okay. I think he... Oh my god. Did he just hit himself? No, I think he counterattacks when he's in this mode. I can't remember. Something weird about that anyway. Did I just do f Oh my god, I'm so dumb. It's fine. Damn, it sucks. I think I'm gonna heal him now, stupidly. <laughs> okay. That was perfect timing, wasn't it?
Okay, let's actually do the right spell. Now he loves that spell, as you can tell. Basically just counterattacks with it every time. Uh, we'll do a cure. Yeah, I may have explained this already, but um, the really, I doubt that. But yeah, the, um, the PSP version actually lets you see um, the charge time for the spells and stuff. So like, you'll have another sort of charge thing over the ATB gauge. Nice. Yeah, sir. So. Yeah, we are a, a little overpowered, actually. <laughs> but yeah, you know, doesn't matter. But yeah, father, mother, you can rest in peace now. Yeah, it's pretty dark now, isn't it? He, uh, Hojo, his parents there. Ah. Oh. Ah, the moon, to the moon. He's a crypto bro, obviously, so he thinks going to the moon is something. <laughs> ah. trophy that you can't see. It's a trap! What? <laughs> oh, really? It's fine for Kane, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, hmm. Oh, what's going on? Move. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going back and forth between those doors. Hmm. Very nice. So glad we have that high potion now. Really needed that. I do love it when these games just throw the items you don't need at you. Like an item that became kind of irrelevant. <laughs> you know, from the start of the game. Ooh. Yeah. I guess he's an airship pilot now. trying to impress Rydia there, I think. He's going for the approach of just like acting like Rydia's his girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, we now have control of the Falcon. Yeah, so obviously we can just travel pretty freely. Well, not on the lava just yet. But... Hmm. Is it down here? I'm trying to get to... Here we go. Hey, hey. Yeah, so 
We just need to get to, to uh, Dwarf Castle, as you can imagine. That's basically the only place you can go. You can't return to the surface just yet, so. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we just have to speak to the king. You have returned. Nah. Were you able to recover the crystals? No, I'm sorry. Ah, I see. Gobbis is very persistent. He is trying to open the sealed cavern by force. Yeah, so that's the, the next dungeon, the sealed cavern. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I won't do that voice again. <laughs> I think I was trying to do uh, some sort of South Park voice or something, like the um, the Canadians, whatever those guys' names are again. I mean, that has nothing to do with Final Fantasy, but you know. Ah, okay. I like that they have like, look like they have no faces, they're just like floating eyeballs. Okay. Sure thing. We head to the sealed cavern. We say southwest. Do you mean here? Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, we need to fly over lava first, don't we? Got anything good for me? Nope. Useless. Yeah, that's kind of the thing, you know. As long as you... You find... Oh. Um, nice. That's that axe that they're selling there. Very nice. Elixir, sweet. Power armlet. Um, what could that be? Oh, nice. And an ether or ether, however you say it. Oh, I just went there. Yeah, so I believe somewhere here we may find our guy said. I think. Um, are they down now? What we've got here. Yeah, I don't know if I've showed this yet, but yeah, this is the Fat Chocobo. So yeah, this is a... There's a weird thing in this game where you, you have limited item space, so... Yeah, you kind of want to just get rid of things you... You don't want... Or else, you know, you're going to run out of space, so... That's real. There's really no point doing that. I should just sell all this trash, really, shouldn't I? But yeah. Um, obviously, you know. Get rid of whatever items you don't need. Um, that actually reminds me one thing I need to do here. Yeah, we'll give that to Rydia. Give her some extra HP. Um, yeah, quickly go here. I think he's in here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so Sid didn't actually die. <laughs> Where's my food? <laughs> oh, 
my god. I bet it'd be a nightmare at a hospital. <laughs> oh my god, the dialogue is just so great in this game. Obviously, you know, um, I do miss the Wolseley, um, the Ted Wolseley translations too, though. They're, they're amazing. Yeah, we need to fly over lava, dude. Help us out. Yeah, he's, uh, when it comes to the airship, <laughs> he's, he's back up and fighting fit. Yes, yeah, so obviously, um, in like mythoses and mythology, doors are meant to be good at building things or whatever, or like, you know, um, you know, they're meant to make like the best weapons and that sort of thing. Was it called like Dwarven Steel or whatever in Lord of the Rings or something? I can't remember. But like, you know, uh, you know, like Gimli's axe is supposed to be like this amazing, powerful weapon or something. And I think in, um, you see, the, in, uh, what's it called? Uh, Infinity War, where um, Thor gets that axe made by um, the giant dwarf, which is a bit of an oxymoron, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely think that's like, one of the best Marvel movies, by the way. Um, I'm not. I'm not like the biggest fans of those movies, but <clears throat> some of them are good, and I think that that's a great one. I think, um, yeah, that's really how you you do an event perfectly. Um, yeah, it's just got for a movie of its length, it has perfect pacing, I think. Um, and yeah, it really juggles for all the characters. So great, I think. But anyway. Uh, you know, we're not here for Marvel talk, are we, so... <laughs> but yeah. The ship is now capable of uh, lava travel, so... Thanks to good old city boy. But yeah, let's... Like I was going to do, uh, let's sell my trash loot now. So yeah, basically, anything that's not equipped. We're going to keep the ice brand, I think. Don't need that. Yeah, we'll keep the shur uh, shurikens, or whatever you call them. Sh shuriken? Shurikens. Um, might keep the Thunderclaw, actually. The Harp. Don't want that. Yeah, we only need one of each arrow, so... Yeah. And we'll get rid of one of them. Uh, yeah, don't need that. What else can we get rid of here? Yeah, we'll keep the rest of these. And then, obviously, yeah, this is the fun part, isn't it? You get to see me do this. And then I'm going to get rid of, I'll keep the homie sandals. I think I'll need them. And then the hourglasses are good. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that. Spider silk. I think that's very useful from what I remember. Mm. Yeah, don't need that. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that. OK, 
Okay. I think we're fine now. Might as well uh, see what we can buy here. Oh, we can buy cottages now. How many can I get? Can I get 99? Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's get a few remedies as well. I mean, I've got so much money. Basically, uh, you know. I'm kind of um, rolling in CP. Or uh, Gil, sorry, not CP. <laughs> sorry, CP is in is Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, Crystorium points. I do love how Gil is just like, you know, the the name of the currency in this world, and it just just is the currency of this world. But anyway. Yeah, we can actually just uh, jump in here now. And um, he said southwest, right? So I believe that's here. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe not. Let's go here anyway. Speak to these folks here. Ah. Hello. Oh. Nice. So, yeah. So basically, this is something we can do later. So, if we find the Adamantite, or Adamantite, or whatever you call it, um, this guy will actually want to forge it in something. So, yeah. Um, that's something we'll look into in a bit. Um, yeah. Need to actually like look up how you do that again. Um, yeah, I can't remember if it's an item drop or something else. Um, hmm. Okay. But yeah, we'll worry about that later. But yeah, that's essentially how you get the Cecil's ultimate weapon in the game. He said southwest, isn't it? That was southeast, I just realized so. Okay, let's go in here now. Hello. Ah. Yeah, so. Yeah, we actually get to see the full world now. Do you want to, doesn't want to move out of my way, I guess. Yeah, we've got another item shop here. And we've got naming way. So if you want to get some names. Yeah, we've got enough of them. And yeah, we've got enough of them. Nice. Hello. Ah, nice. Yeah. Lally ho, dude. New weapon for Rydia, which is awesome. It's funny because Sid was saying she's uh, she's got matey boy whipped, so and she actually uses a whip, which is cool. Okay, we'll grab a couple of these. Nice. See, this is why it's good to look around, you know. Can he not equip that? Or maybe he has it already. I don't know. I think maybe we'll, yeah, we'll give him that. Hey. Oh. Okay. 
Now we will just sell all the trash loot, as always. I mean, I suppose you, you could keep some of the stuff if you really wanted to, but yeah, I just don't think it's worth it personally, you know, didn't mean to do that. Doesn't want to move out of my way. I think that's about everything we can really do here. Nice. That's very nice of them. Maybe they don't get many visitors, so they're just letting us take their stuff. That's pretty badass. Slice or however you say him. Um, sylphs, sorry. They're essentially kind of like fairies, I guess. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna meet them soon. Move out my way. Move! Dude. And we just have to wait for him to move. There we go. Yeah, it's over here we need to go. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why her necklace does that, but nice. Not going to complain. Yeah, this is the sealed cavern. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, it's supposed to be descending down there. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're going in this little room. Ah. Yeah, this is a little mechanic here. So yeah, this is, uh, I guess, technically kind of a demon wall in a way. This breath. See, that's not do good damage. Eh, not too bad. Yeah, and Radio Lens break. Everyone gets a nice little level up. Can't scoff at that. Yeah, that lets us get some treasures, which is nice. I think. Is that a new weapon for him? Yeah. Very nice. And obviously an ether. Can't go wrong with them, you know. Yeah, might be good in an emergency, right? So. Oh, oh, oh. Anything else? Nope. Did it transform into a monster or was it always a monster? That's the real question. Have uh, auto battle now. Hey. Very nice. Yeah, so 
Every one of those is a monster. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I guess it's just figuring out your weaknesses or something? Yeah, I mean... There is some enemy AI where you're just like, what the hell were they thinking? <laughs> oh, that was nice. Doesn't matter though. It's good to get these fights out of the way anyway, isn't it? So, Well, I mean, it's good experience though. I've always loved the idea of like levels in RPGs, you know. It's almost like you're training, aren't you? And you're like improving. It's really, I don't know. I've always just found that really cool. Like, you know, just it almost kind of, I don't know, it feels Dragon Ball Z-esque or something to me. Anything up here? Load more doors. Obviously, yeah, this would be annoying if you couldn't turn off the random encounters. So. Um, yeah, we'll go on this one first. And we'll uh, fast forward. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't let you do fast auto battles, because I'm um, pretty certain in the PSP version, um, the battles went a bit quicker. The auto battles, anyway. I mean, saying that, you know. There was none of this in the originals, so though. Can't really complain, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's the actual next way, so let's go through here. Every bloody time I go to a door, it turns into a monster. It's fun, isn't it? Like, uh, you know, you could just imagine someone just goes into this cave all of a sudden, you know, just get attacked by a monster. Nice. Black Cowl. So, yeah, he can be Batman now. Yeah, that, I said it already, but th this is just one thing I really love about this game, that you know, as long as you are searching everywhere in these dungeons, you, you are just going to find equipment. So, I get really, um, you know, it's just nice, simple, and easy. So, one thing I really like, like I was saying in the last part, that this is it's part of why I really love these older Japanese RPGs. Um, yeah, I just find them all infinitely more replayable, personally. There, yeah, we've got a nice, um, Safe point here. Uh, even though I probably don't need it at the moment, but you know. We'll just tent up, as always. Yeah, I mean, it's. I don't know. They're, they're really just. They don't make them like this anymore, do they? Um, I don't mean to sound like a. You know, some sort of old man or whatever, but. Um, yeah, just. The more streamlined. Simpler approach, just, you know, you've got a story to tell. Just have a few dungeons, a couple of little side bits, and you know, that's it, you know. I don't need to spend my whole life on a single game. And, you know, that's where I really feel like these um, game developers are going wrong nowadays anyway. I really feel like we need to we need to pull things back a bit with games, you know, not just add a million things. Um, you know, we don't need... Like I was saying, we don't need like games that last well over 100 hours. Like, um, you know, but, uh, go, going through Rebirth recently. You know, I really liked the game a lot. I think I think it was a great game for the most part. Um, but yeah, it's just, it just felt like it was like, near the end. I was just like, oh, let this be over. It's like, that's just how I feel with a lot of RPGs nowadays. If I'm gonna be very honest, you know. Just I'm loving them for the most part, but then near the end they, they end up just feeling like a bit of a chore. Because it's just too much to do. And I, I just I don't you know Maybe I'm in the minority, but when I play a game I don't just you know, I don't want to do all this extra stuff. 
Um, yeah, and I almost feel like with these newer games, they're kind of they're designed around having to do all the side quests because that's how you get all the best equipments and levels and all that. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, the uh, got post, so. Ooh, light sword. Very nice. New weapon for uh, Cecil. Or Cecil, however you say it. I always get confused with that. I mean, I say Cecil, but um, it's just, it's that episode of The Simpsons with um, uh, Sideshow Bub's brother. And they say Cecil, so. But I think Chief Wiggum says it, actually. Yeah, because I think Sideshow Bob does say Cecil, but I just remember near the end, he's like, Cecil doing it? I think not, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think we had one more door down here, did we? Or something? Was that the way I came? No! Yeah, that just drops you down. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I think it literally just chucks you down. I don't think there's, yeah. Okay, okay, you can't actually go down there, okay. I wasn't sure if you had dropped down and you got more items or something. Hit, 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 hit. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything in this, on this floor now, I believe. We can't go there, can we? Nope. Okay, let's continue on. One more door for good luck. <laughs> Prayers unanswered. It's not fair, is it? I mean, I guess it makes sense because, you know, your prayers may not always be answered, so. But yeah, anyway, obviously, yeah, this way we go. Um, okay. Grab that first. I think that's actually the... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's just that way, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, these uh, dungeons are so much more breezier when you can turn off encounters. 
I mean, obviously, um, if you want to collect all of the things in the bestiary or bestiary, um, and you want the uh, what do you call it as well? Um, and you want um, all the like little secret summon things you can get. You probably want to fight more encounters in this. But yeah, like I've said, most of those like. I don't know, this game's so annoying with the drop rates of things. Yeah, see, it looks like it's not attached, but it is. Anything up there? No. But yeah, I think I was complaining about new games or something, wasn't I? So, but yeah, um, the whole point I was making is that, you know, with these, um, I also feel like because there's so much content and the games throw it all at you, um, it just gets a bit tiring. Um, as for our first Chimera, um, I think. And um, yeah, I just think it, you know, side content for me was it's just so much better when it's just, you may just find it. I know it's a bit more obtuse and it can be annoying, but I, I personally just feel like that's always just the better way of doing it myself. But anyway, uh, I'll shut up about that now. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, you know, like I said, I do like a lot of modern RPGs as well, and a lot of the modern conveniences. But yeah, we are going to save up. And um, yeah, I think what we'll quickly do is maybe try to get a level or two because we've got a little bit of time before the recording ends yeah so we'll just do some little bit of leveling hey uh, you know it's always fun to get this out of the way yeah so uh, so annoying aren't they Now we've got a plane going past, or a helicopter, so hopefully you can't hit that. Yeah, that happens a lot around here. Like, um, you know, the amount of videos <laughs> I've like started recording, and then they do all that. Seems like a waste when there's just one enemy, but whatever. God, would you quit it? Okay, almost finished. Just once Ridia. Oh wow, you actually got to pray off? Bloody hell. Okay, anyway, we'll let Ridia do another attack. And that should be it. Sweet. All right, I'm just gonna save now and we're actually gonna call it for this episode. So, yeah. as always, you know, Thanks for watching, um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, where we will finish off the sealed cavern. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.